Hi, it's Taylor Rostern here, co-manager of the Lakeville North boys hockey team, and we're back with Coach Eigner. How are you doing, Coach? I'm doing excellent, thank you. Good. So since last we spoke, we came off with two gritty performances against two top five teams. Since then, we've had a tough loss against Benilde and two wins against Eastfield and Burnsville. What is the identity of the team this early in the season? Um, you know, we're struggling to score goals right now. I think the identity is kind of um, something that's that's transpiring over time here a little bit. And unfortunately, you know, when we're in the situation uh, offensively that we've been in, you're kind of forced to, into the identity of a defensive-minded team. Uh, fortunately for us, we've gotten fantastic goaltending um, since the get-go. So I think both individually and as a team, uh, the kids are kind of learning, you know, to find their role, fill their role, and it's just predicated by the, the, the lack of offense to this point. We've been doing a great job of, of erring on the side of caution defensively and, and, and playing a, a very responsible style of hockey, which it's not always the most fun way to play for kids, and it's not something we've been accustomed to over the past few seasons, but uh, I think we've done a good job of adapting to it. So with that, we only have nine goals for and nine goals against these past five games. Is this an intended style this early on in the season or a byproduct of a small sample size thus far? Well, I, I think for sure it's the byproduct. I don't know that five games tells you everything you need to know. We haven't even really landed on, on, on line combinations and, and what certain guys are capable of. Um, people forget, you know, when you plug in 14 new players to a roster, it's going to take a little bit of time to figure out, you know, which guys fit certain needs. So um, the byproduct uh, in terms of the tight games, it's never intended, obviously. Um, I think it'd be a lot easier on a coach to win 5 nothing than it is 2-1. Um, but I think what, what you come to understand, at least over the years, is that playing in these games is, is really um, an advantageous thing to do. If you can get into situations that might mimic tight games in the postseason, um, you know, and have those experiences early on, uh, and if you can learn to be comfortable playing in tight hockey games, I think it's good for the growth of the team in the long run. For sure. As you look at the entire North program, including the youth programs, what are you most excited for these next couple of years? Uh, you know, there's a lot to be excited about. I think that there, there's kind of a misconception about Lakeville as a community being this massive community um, with all these kids playing. The reality is, you know, we're split into Lakeville North and South when it comes to hockey. Um, and that leaves us with, you know, a rather modest size hockey association in terms of 50, 55 square players, um, where you see in the West Metro up to, you know, 200 at that level. So. Um, the challenges are, are, there, are certainly there, but, but what I enjoy about it is it seems that the, the kids and families we have involved in the hockey program are, are just very enthusiastic about what we're trying to do with the program, the direction that uh, you know the program's gone over the past few years. And, and if you combine that with some passionate kids and athletes and parents that like to, to provide opportunities for their kids, you know there's a lot to be positive about. And, and I know in going to watch our youth teams play, um, we are far from, you know, the, one of the top youth programs in terms of our on-ice performance, uh, just based on sheer volume of players. You know, but when I get out there and watch some of our teams play, and even our top teams against some top teams in the state, very competitive athletically. Um, we may not have, you know, that refined hockey player yet because our kids are still playing multiple sports, and that's just the way it needs to be to, to field teams, at least at the high school level, for, for a school the size of Lakeville North. So, there's, there's a lot of positives. I see just, just great families, great support of the program, and, and a bunch of good athletes that we can work with and, and continue to, to build our high school program. Yeah, awesome. Lastly, we have six games coming up over the next 14 days. Will you talk a little bit about what you want to see and what you're expecting or trying to push? Well, I guess the odds-on favorite honest answer as a coaching staff is we'd like to see the ability to create some more chances offensively and, and not you know produce some more goals on the offensive side um, just to kind of relieve some of the pressure defensively but like I said I mean it is it is truly early on um, you know so I think if there's one thing as a coaching staff we're kind of internally harping on and and, and and focusing on is just continued improvement and, and consistency when you're dealing with a lot of young players um, playing maybe their fifth or sixth varsity game 
Um, that consistency is a piece that, that's something you really strive for, and that usually comes with experience. We just don't have the luxury of having a bunch of guys that have played in every situation in, in a lot of hockey games. So I think we'll, we'll, we'll make consistency a mark of our development. Um, if we could kick in some more goals here and there, that'd be fantastic. But by and large, you know, I mean, just steady improvement over the course of the season, I think, is what, as a group, we kind of hung our hats on and we were never going to get too high or too low because we really didn't know what kind of product we were going to put out on the ice early in the season. So we've been competitive in every game. Um, I think we're, we're trending in the right direction. And, and uh, you know, we look forward to playing, you know, um, through the holidays, some more competitive teams and, and some what people consider higher echelon teams in the state. Thank you, Coach. It was great to catch up with you today. Appreciate it.